Okay, Friday morning in the kingdom, and today sucks already, yes. Last night, I tossed and turned in bed. Oh, it was unreal. My body's so sore from all that work. It's like having a real job. Oh, I got something in my pocket here. Oh, it's so small. Oh, that's what she said in the bedroom last night. All right, so I took a bunch of these. These things are useless. And look at the size. That's the size at the end of the world here in wilderness alaska but in northern manitoba down south everything is super sized but up here everything is super small yeah it's called shrinkage like george costanza getting out of the pool in that uh, seinfeld show unreal so i had a rough night tossing and turning couldn't sleep i got up at 6 a.m to check the internet and the facebook drama and everything like that only to find out that the pallet of dog food sir rodney sent from the south didn't make it. Yes, to grief rabbits. Oh. <coughs> yeah, so Johnny won't be bringing it today. And I even plowed the driveway. What for? But then again, a pallet of dog food every two months, you know, isn't as important as the groceries and beer that comes every day. So there was no room on the truck, so my pallet got bumped aside. The story of my life. The bridesmaid. All right. So this morning we woke up to minus 14, but feels like minus 20. Yes, and on the yo-yo scale, plus 7. Yes, and but feels like minus 4. Those are acceptable temperatures because I'm out here in a bad mood. And today is the last day welding on the sloop, but we have a problem there. Also, too, no pallet from Johnny. And then I checked the bank account to see if the staff got her pay. Yes, from being, how do you say, working at that school. And... She only got one third of what she got last week. So I don't know where the rest of the money went. Maybe to my, to a Caribbean bank account or some offshore account or something. I have no idea. And we were planning to have wings this weekend. You know, they're pretty expensive. But how can we have wings when there's only a third of the money? Unreal. So then I come out here and double check everything. All right. Could you trust these timers like an ex-wife? So I went over and I unplugged it out of the cord. It was supposed to go off at uh, 5 a.m. in the morning to warm the green toy. Yes. All right. I'll see if I got enough talent. All right. So I checked the green toy. Right there, the military record truck made famous. The roto record made famous by Jamie Davis on Highway Through Hell. And the motor is cold. The block heater wasn't on. So removing the timer means that sometime this afternoon there'll be enough warmth in the motor for that green toy that the 855 Cummings to start and run. So this project is being delayed, delayed. Unreal, because we need to bring the green toy out to flip the sloop over upside down so we can weld, because I'm not going to weld overhead, especially today, because today sucks. All right, so we have smart thinking today. I'm not going to fight with that wood stove. Yes, I've inhaled enough smoke, you know, from my childhood and then to play with that wood stove. Yesterday was unreal. So no wood stove smoke, so the Swedish kid will be happy. I'm going to run the gas-powered welder, so I'll be nice and warm in the shop as I burn that rod. Yes, because the gas-powered welder will be running when it's outside. Okay, when we're welding on the sloop, if the green toy starts today... And so it's kind of pointless having dual heat in the shop. Yes, why have the wood stove going, putting out heat, when the welder's in there burning, or running to burn the welding rods. Unreal, the day we're having, unreal. Good thing I'm retired, because if I was still in business, I'd be banging my head against the wall and day drinking. Oh wait, I do that now, retired. And I didn't even attempt to untangle the flags, because I'd probably throw my shoulder out, reaching up with the stick. So it's gonna be a day drinking day unreal but the best part of today is my hemorrhoids haven't flared up yet well i better go here comes the boss okay seems how the timer didn't work on the green toy to warm up the motor on the block heater we're gonna have to use the mini hose we're gonna work through lunch get things moved around and then items will be in the shop warming up and then after lunch a late lunch the green toy should start with ease we don't want to how to say risk blowing that cummings motor up or anything like that why stress it when there's no need for it all right let's get back to work seems that we're working unsupervised 
Okay, we're going to go for a late lunch. It's quarter to one, so it's well worth spending 45 minutes and getting this done. The 39 is now not there. We emptied the snow, yes, in the middle of the road, yes, but we have road drags. And the green toy is still over there because I didn't figure it was ready to start. You can't try, how would you say, abuse those Cummings motors because they're known as come aparts. All right, so over here is the sloop. Don't ask me how we did it, but the mini hole was involved. And the words that I came out of my mouth before I flipped it up on its side was, hold my beer. Okay, when you live in wilderness, Alaska, but in northern Manitoba, you take stuff out of the shop that's warm, you don't toss it on the ground. So everything is upside down because I don't want snow to freeze in there because the hitch is warm, the, the tailgate's warm, and the snow will stick and freeze to the hinge pins, okay? So that's why it's upside down. That took a lot of talent. Yes, I'm a lucky guy today. Yeah, right, I'm having a bad day. My hemorrhoids, I think, are flaring up. Okay, one of the joys of the Princess Auto winch, the 4,500-pound winch on the 39 Chevy up there that operates the gin pole. So if you undo the cables and leave the cable hook to the gin pole, you can do up and down. So it comes with a remote control. So I had enough talent, as hold my beer, to back in the, dry, the doors and then slowly lift the boom up to fit in here. Now that was perfect timing. Now if I set the me phone up to record it, we would have seen the lights get smashed out and the promo bike get knocked off its pallet, okay? Unreal. Now let's go have some lunch and some more beverage so we can start welding on the sloop outside and enjoy the sunshine. Okay, sunny and bright and the green toy started no problem. Just flip the key or hit the start button and that Cummings fired right up. Cummings don't like ether, not like Detroit's. All right, let's set up the me phone on the tripod to record this great event or the great screw up. Seems how it is Friday. Friday morning in Whoville and it's just after 8.30 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to work. As you can see, there is no sunrise today. The sun is hidden behind some clouds. Since it's been so warm, I'm sure it's going to snow. Those could be snow clouds or rain clouds. You never know with the weather nowadays. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in and get ready for work. 12.30 and I'm just finishing up lunch. I had soup and a sandwich again. I was subbing grade 5 all morning and it's only a half day today so that was pretty good for me. But I have to go back this afternoon and there's some meetings and a few other things I have to do. So let's let the dogs back in and get to work. 4 o'clock and I just made it home from work. It was a pretty good afternoon. I just helped the grade 3-4 teacher get settled into their room and went through all the paperwork and stuff. Now I got the skidoo running and I'll head on over to the kingdom and see what we're doing today. Just after 4 o'clock and I made it to the kingdom, now I'll head on down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. While I wait for my dad to finish up in the shop, I came over to shovel off the trailer. You can't really see the trailer with all the snow on it, but I gotta shovel it out so we can get it out of the new shop and get the tank off. Got the hardest part done, now I can do it on the sides here. It shouldn't take me very long, but the snow is pretty deep. You can kind of see the tires right there, that's how deep the snow is. I want to say it's almost waist deep in here, but it's a lot of blowing snow. The snow is very compressed and sticky, so it's really easy to shovel off. It just comes off in big chunks like that, so this shouldn't take me very long. All I have to do is the sides here, and then the other half of the top of the tank. 
got half the trailer done and the top of the tank. I just have to do this little part here. While I am doing all this shoveling, my dad's going to air up the Ford with the green toy. He's just hooking it all up. It'll take a little bit to warm up. I'm not going to shovel the snow off of it because he wants to keep the snow on. So once I'm done this, he should be ready. 4.30 and I just finished clearing off the trailer. Now we can get the tank off when we move the trailer out of the shop here. Then I can give you guys a little video on how much snow is actually around the trailer here. Plus the pit is just under the trailer as well, so we'll get to see how much ice is in there. Now that it's all aired up, my dad can put the hose away and then we can pull it out of the snow bank here. I'm not sure if you can see with all the snow, but we have two cables here that are hooked onto the front end of the Ford here. That way it's pulling on the front end and not on the bumper because knowing us, we'd end up ripping the bumper off. gonna try and give you guys a little look here on where the cable is this is what's hooked up to the front of the Ford here and it runs all the way back into here onto the front end it is on either side there that way we're pulling on the front end of the Ford and not the bumper here so as you can see the bumper is not held on by very much so that wouldn't be a good place to pull
trying to get the cord out here. My dad dug a little hole, so we had to unhook and move over a little bit. Look how deep down this hole is. That is a good eight inches down, I think, and he made it all the way down to the dirt as well. That gives you guys an idea on how packed our trails are around the kingdom as well, because this was all packed down with the double Z drag and the other drags we have around the yard. So that's pretty good, all those layers. Just got the Ford out of the snowbank and we couldn't figure out why it was so hard to pull out. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is still snow on top of this tire, so that means the brakes were dragging on this side. It was aired up enough, so I'm not sure what was going on there. Maybe it was just frozen, but you can see on this side here, it dragged it all the way back from there. This gives you an idea on how much snow we have as well, because the Ford has been sitting there a pretty long time from the outline it left. But look at those brake marks. You, that's pro that was our problem. The brakes were stuck on there. As you can see here, they dragged all the way from the moment it started moving all the way this way. And you can tell that the brakes were dragging by the snow on the tire. Plus, if you look at this side, it is a perfect line.
just got the trailer out now we can get the tank off and put everything away as you can see from the pit here there's actually not much water in it this time or snow the trailer being over top of the pit here kept all the snow out so now we'll have to put something else over the pit that way we can keep the rest of the snow out look at that side there all those layers with the snow this has been over the pit since it actually started snowing so you can see how much snow we've really gotten just got the tank off the trailer I'll go over there and spin it around for them because we're gonna set it down right in here and then we can pull the trailer up to the shop and unhook everything and then I'm pretty sure we'll be done for today so I'll head over and turn this for them so we can set it down right beside the rest of the stuff here almost 5 30 and we are officially done with the trailer and stuff I have to do one more good shovel on it but now my dad's going to back it in over here by the 41 and the rest of the cats. That way the sun can melt the snow off of it. Just finished shoveling off the trailer now the sun can melt the rest of it away hopefully by the time we need it now i'll head on back into the shop and see what my dad's up to just after 5:30, i'm officially down in the kingdom now i'll grab my dog treats head on back into whoville and do the weather quarter after six and this is the temperature we're sitting at today it's negative 10 degrees celsius which is 14 degrees fahrenheit we even have the feels like on the bottom it is the same weather as yesterday i don't think my weather channel is working right now but it was pretty warm today that sun was nice and warm i was sweating in my skidoo gear while i was shoveling off the trailer now it's time to head inside let the dogs back in because i can hear them crying make supper and end my day Okay, six o'clock in the kingdom and I got the welds done on the upside down part. We put little gussets in here to keep the hinges from falling off. We did the booger welds on the cross members here. And once we put pressure down, we can weld the sheet metal to the cross members. We can do that in the summer when we have all the mosquitoes bothering us. 
All right, let's flip this over. We'll set up the me phone and then get the green toy and a few other things parked and then we can call it a day. What a shitty day today, but we did it and got what we wanted done. Okay, 6.30, we're done for the day. We have a motocross track in the middle of the yard, but that's okay. I don't know why the brakes didn't release on the screaming for it, but oh well. All right, we had fun, okay. And Spielberg, the director, didn't tell me I was digging basements in the yard here, but I guess it looks good on film. We'll see later when I edit the film. All right, I stocked up the wood stove. The wood stove's gonna have to heat the whole shop tonight because we can't close the curtains because somebody put some gin poles in the way. All right, so over here, we got the sloop flick flipped over. That was a lame ass video. And we have Aggie there. He still needs a tail. All right, let's scroll this way. And look at the flags. They're in their natural state of being limp. Oh man, that's my body right now. I'm sore, stiff, unreal. This working for a living's hard on a guy. I should retire again. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. Talk to you later.